The city of Lockport's only hospital announced today it will close its doors this June. News Force Patrick Ryan talked to city leaders who call the closure of Eastern Niagara Hospital absolutely unthinkable and shameful. Eastern Niagara Hospital has been struggling for years and come June 17th, patients will have to look elsewhere for care and employees new jobs. Not only unthinkable, absolutely and outright shameful. This is the world we live in today. City of Lockport Common Council President Paul Beekman is enraged that Eastern Niagara Hospital will shut down on June 17th. The struggling hospital filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2019. Hospital leaders say with the high number of Medicaid, Medicare and uninsured patients, Eastern Niagara can't rely on insurance and patient billing to keep the lights on. Beekman says hospital administrators haven't told City Hall anything. This really was a lifeline for the residents of the City of Lockport in all of Eastern Niagara County and this is just, it's horrible. Catholic Health broke ground on a new hospital in Lockport back in November of 2021. We're told that hospital will not be ready by June and is expected to open this fall. This could leave residents without access to a nearby hospital for months. City of Lockport Mayor Michelle Roman tells us she learned of the June closure when an employee reached out with a hospital memo. They had promised me that this would stay operating until the new one was operational itself. And <clears throat> obviously that's not happening. I feel that they were negligent in not contacting us and making an actual exit plan for this process. Roman says the closure will affect all of Niagara County. That includes those in need of a rape kit administered by a sexual assault nurse examiner. We will not have a single sane certified nurse in the county of Niagara. We will have to wait for the traveling nurses from Erie County. And almost 300 employees will be laid off because of this closure. I reached out to the union who represents those employees and the hospital itself. Neither would go on camera tonight for comment. Reporting in Lockport, Patrick Ryan, News 4.